Hey guys, this is your boy here, Chow Chow Vinny the Business. Um, I like to talk about what ha what really happened on Sunday night with the uh, world, this this so called uh, World Cup final party, which is a total fucking disgrace. It was very fucking disgusting. But I do congratulate Argentina for winning the World Cup. And for me, being part being part Argentinian, very proud. But, 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 here's what really happened. And I'm going to give you the whole truth now. Because since I can't share it on Instagram, I'm going to share it on here on YouTube. So there won't be any compromisation why I'm talking like this now. Um, so I decided to con record this for YouTube only. So it's going to be strictly for YouTube only. So anyways, um, the World Cup final party... It was supposed to be at 10 o'clock, right? And apparently it got switched to 7. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Uh-oh, that, it doesn't sound very well. Because EJ Kareem, I think he got over there around like 6.45. He was about to do a warm-up set, play some Argentinian music. And, like, hey, sorry about that. Play some Argentinian music and then go on with the set. But it was a huge fucking snowball, okay? They didn't want Latin music. They wanted pure Argentinian music, okay? I got there around 11 minutes before 9 o'clock, okay? 11 minutes before 9 o'clock because I was getting myself getting ready. It was like past quarter. It was like past. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine because we were going to go till 2 o'clock in the morning. All of a sudden, okay, I got in the Uber. 11 minutes before 9 o'clock. I swear to God. The same, it was, and it was, and I know, and I recognized the crowd that was there. It was the same fucking crowd that was on fucking Propaganda 24. Okay? That were crying like little pussies. Like, what a fucking disgrace to Argentinians all over the place, man. Even, like, I'm proud to be half Argentinian, but you guys at FBI Pizza are a fucking disgrace. We don't act like that in public. We don't act like that. You know, you guys are a fucking disgrace. I don't call you a fucking Argentinians. You guys are a bunch of fucking wannabes. Get to get to you in a second. Get that in a second. Excuse me. So anyways, I got to the joint. My buddy was there. My buddy, like, my buddy Alex was there. It was not his fault. You know, shit happens, right? I'm not going to put the heat on FBI pizza, you know. But I will put the heat on the Argentinian community. On the Argentinian community. Yes, because when I got there... Um, I was he I was looking, I was going towards CJ Kareem, right? These guys were already fucked, okay? They've been fucked since 10 o'clock Sunday morning. And it was, like I said, it was the same fucking crowd that I saw on fucking CP24, you know? And it was a huge snowball. They didn't want any music at all, okay? And so I started recording, like, okay, I thought we we're going to get into the, into the set. Everyone's going to be leaving. Some will stay, which is cool. And all of a sudden, the first fight broke out. This wannabe, this wannabe motherfucker who dressed up as fucking the Arabian, whoever the fuck he was. He looks like a fucking geek with that. He actually, he actually started the fight with one, this guy who's wearing like his hat and he's wearing his jacket and shit, right? He's a wannabe. I got, I got a guy to myself. My gosh. He started headbutting him, and all of a sudden threw a beer through the bottle. So that was the first fight that broke out. Okay, and I felt bad for the owner, I'm like my my, because he's a good friend of mine. He's also from Mississauga. Okay, he tried to deescalate. He the poor guy tried to deescalate the situation. Okay, because these guys were drunk since ten o'clock on Sunday morning. I could tell it was the same crowd. And from what I heard, what they fucking did on Saint Clair, they desecrated the Corsa Italia street sign. Since I'm also part Italian, I find it very disrespectful. How would you feel if you go into a Portuguese community? Let's go fucking do that. Okay? Very, very shameful. Like, us Argentinians don't act like fucking drunks. I'm sorry, I don't condone that. And it was very disgraceful. You guys should, like, you know, you guys should know your limits. You know? Glad that we won, you know, but you guys act like a 
like a bunch of fucking animals. I'm sorry. I don't condone. You guys are a disgrace to the Argentinian community. I don't can call you guys Argentinians. I call you guys fucking wannabes. You guys are a disgrace. And by 9.45, it got shut down. Okay, it got shut down. I thought we were going to hold down for a little bit so everyone leaves. The fu the, there was a fight outside the joint, the pizza joint. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know, I was very furious. I was very disgusted. You know? And I will tell you this. This is, I'm gonna, that's why I'm going to start this video soon. Um, I was actually armed. Okay, I was actually armed. I had a pocket knife in my pocket. I was not going to show it out. You know, make it to make it look stupid. I actually had it in my pocket just in case somebody got fucking crazy. He think these guys were gonna whip me? I don't think so, buddy. He, he think these are these wannabes in on Saint Clair was gonna whip me? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, anyways, nine forty five. It was a complete shutdown. And like I thought, we we're gonna like hold it down for a little bit and come right back up. No, we had to be shut down completely. I was very upset on the way it was displayed. You know, it was a complete disgustingest display I've ever seen. You know? And, like, it's okay that you, we won. But you guys should, like, be, like, fucking be mindful amongst your peers and be sur of your surroundings because... Technically, it was supposed to be our party. You know, our friends are going to be coming over and shit like that. And then, you know, and it got shut down completely. Our good friend Carlos Martinez. Poor guy. It was his birthday the next... It was yesterday, his birthday. He wanted to come out and celebrate his early birthday before yesterday. And when Carlos got there, he when he got there, that's when the place got shut down. He got there when the place got shut down. And I was not too happy about that. Um, I do have a recording. I I didn't had no idea. I looked into my phone. It was like a minute and forty seconds. Like, what did I record? As soon as I looked at it, I'm like, oh shit! It was one of the. I recorded the first fight. I'm like, oh fuck! This is gonna create a lot of heat. So like, I took it off my Instagram right away. I'm surprised nobody noticed it. I put it up on Facebook and I put it out here. So, like, it won't draw any heat. But the fact is, I will give my props to Alex, my good buddy Alex, because he did a very good job. The poor guy wasn't his fault. I give my props to FBI Pizza. I'm not going to put you guys in heat. Love you guys. But it was actually, I do blame the Argentinian community for that. You know, it's not FBI Pizza. I'm not going to put FBI Pizza in heat. You know, we should. There, there should be security. Right, but I do blame the city of Toronto for that. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm I am going to put a heat on a lo on a lot of heat on the Toronto Police Department and the city of Toronto for doing a fucking f one of the one of the, one of the worst corrupted cities in Ontario. You guys are a disgrace. You guys should have done it safely and like we're sa like make it safely where everybody can enjoy enjoy the cup, whatever the victory. Fine, but the way it was settled, I'm sorry, Toronto. You guys fucked up big time. You know, you guys are the most corrupted people I've ever met. So shame on the city of Toronto. That was like, what, 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 what else? What, sorry, tongue twist. What if something happened inside, you know? So shame on the Toronto police for not doing their job. You guys are corrupted. I'm sorry. I'm not going to condone that. You know, it's not FBI. Like I said, it's not FBI pizza's fault. No, 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 no. They did the exact same de-escalate. But it got even worse. Like, okay, that's it. We're going to shut it down. Like, I was very disappointed, you know, I got there like and by now, and then like after that, um, what's his name? DJ Kareem, myself. DJ Kareem went out to eat to um, Al Minerva to make it up for it. At least there was some euro in there, but I, I, I wish it was like full. But the good thing is, I will give FBI pizza props for shutting it down. But what if they would have gone till two o'clock in the morning and something happened? You know. So let that be a lesson. I'm glad it did happen, but let let that be a lesson because that was a disgraceful party ever, man. I am sorry. You like 
the crowd there, they're a disgrace to Argentine, Argentinian heritage. I am sorry, you guys are a disgrace to us Argentinians out there because we don't act like that. I'm part Argentinian. Okay, here's a little bit of a story because my grandfather, his, my great great grandmother was was Spanish, right? And she grew up in Ar she was born in Argentina, and the fa and my great great grandfather was born in Italy, so in Calabria. And then on my grandmother's side, my grandmother's brother. He moved to Argentina, married his wife, had their son Carlito, and then he got married to oh, uh, his wife Olga and had their son Gianluca. So that makes us, yeah, so we, there is, there is, a, there is Argentinian blood on my, that side of the family. And I'm very proud of, of my half Argentinian heritage. But to me, the, but those Argentinians there are very disgraceful. I'm sorry. Like, the wave should have done, you guys should have done it peacefully, whatever. Like, any, any sport, World Cup, whatever, you guys should have done it peacefully. I'm sorry, the city of Toronto, you can go straight to hell. Like, shame on the city of Toronto, you guys embarrassed us completely. It was such an embarrassment. Like, no, I'm happy that we won the Cup. I'm happy. But the fact is, you, the way it was settled, I'm sorry. And these guys were drunk since 10 o'clock Sunday morning. And it continued... Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not put, gonna put a heat on FBI pizza. No, no, no. It wasn't their fault. They did what they had to do, but there should be security. They should be. There should be security to protect the place because he knows what could have happened. So, like, anyways. Sorry, but I had to pause it in and out. So, anyways, no, no, no. And it was like I said, I've been to like so many places already. They act like a bunch of hooligans. Fuck that out of their minds. One girl tried to grab me. I'm like, who are you? You know? It's a good... Like I said, it's a good thing I was armed with a pocket knife. Because you think these guys would have whipped me? These guys would have on the floor by now. It broke my heart to see that how they act. That, come on, that's not how, how, how us Argentinians act. Okay. And... It, like, like... I was very, like, I'm, like you said, I'm very proud of my half Argentine heritage, but the way it was settled, I'm sorry, man, what a disgrace. Very, very disgraceful. And to that guy with the fucking Arabian outfit, buddy, you look like a freaking, buddy, you look like you just got up out of bed, man, wearing that, what, you just get out of the fucking shower? Buddy, you look like a fucking scumbag. You look like you just you just look, you look like you just got out of the shower, man. Relax, buddy. You think this guy? You you think you're so tough, buddy? I got guys in Mississauga that will eat you alive, my guy. Buddy, you would have got dropped to the floor, man. All these guys would have got dropped. They're a bunch of wannabes. I'm sorry, you guys are a disgrace to the Argentinians around the world. I'm sorry. Like I'm proud of it. I'm glad we won. You know. Even though I'm partial Italian, but I'm also partial Argentinian, so, you know, I gotta represent my heritage too, right? But, I don't condone your behavior on Sunday night in Toronto. That was very disgraceful. That was fucking garbage. One of us would have, we would have gotten hurt, you know, by all of this. It's a good thing I was right beside DJ Kareem, and he, we, like, DJ wasn't, like, DJ Kareem, Kareem was there to do a job, but he felt bad for us. And like I said, poor Carlos Martinez, he got there when the place got shut down. Yeah, I'm not too pleased about that. So hopefully, like, there will be a makeup prior, like, after this. So we learn from it, you know. So let that be a lesson to learn, man. That's very uncalled for. Yeah, I'm not mad at FBI. Like, I'm not going to put them in heat. So like they did a they did a good try to do a good so they did like a, they did a good job on their part to deescalate and everything okay that's it guys go right because who knows what could have happened if we would have stayed till two o'clock in the morning because we were ready to do, getting ready to do the set to do the seven hour set with the Latin hot with the Latin the Euro the freaking waybacks all that good stuff and then do a warm up have them all leave some say and some will go home but nah man it didn't it didn't go that way it would turn into a huge snowball. So when I got there, man, I wanted to eat, man. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I did post some videos. I did not 
post the fight on Instagram because I don't want to put them in heat. But I did have so I have some of the videos on TikTok instead of YouTube because I don't want to put it in jeopardy. Like um, you know, because I have to protect my image and reputation too because I am also well. Even though Euro Dance Guy is the leader, I'm the co-leader of the dance music community. So I had to protect my image and reputation. Because I've, like I said, there's a lot of people that love and respect me in the neighborhood. Especially when I go to the clubs, I respect them. They're like my family, right? Especially when I go to FBI to see my boy Alex, you know, give him respect too. I put him over to, I put him over, you know, coming all that way from Mississauga to support another Saga soldier, you know. You know, I think he like, so like, you know, you know, to de-escalate and everything. I was completely chilled. Like I said, I was armed. I was completely armed. I was not going to hurt anybody. If somebody did came on page, they would have got, they would have got sliced. <laughs> I would not kill. Yeah, they would have, all these wannabes would have got sliced, but it wasn't going to really happen. So, I, so all of a sudden I put it in my backpack and it de-escalated right away. Yeah. So this is my post. I would say this so-called FBI, mm, this uh, so-called um, World Cup final party. Um, I am Chow Chow Vinny the business. I will see you soon. And to the Argentinian community on St. Clair, shame on you. You guys are fucking disgraceful idiots. I hope karma comes back to you. I pray it fucking does, man, because I hope karma comes back to you. Whatever. I'm proud of my heritage. I'm happy we won. Nope. You know, I'm giving all my love to Argentina. You know? But you guys fucked up. Here's what I say to you. Shame on you guys. This is Vinny the Business. View oh, yeah. By the way, this video's viewer's discretion is advised. I will be turning off the comments so I won't get any heat. So... Enjoy your night, everybody. My apologies for this. I just have to come out on my YouTube. And I have to let this all out because I don't want to let it on any other social media platform because I don't want to get heated. But if I rather get heated, I'd rather do it something like this. So, everybody, enjoy your night. I will see you all soon at the next party. And hopefully this will never happen again. So, so be it. All right, guys, take it easy.